I think, as Mark Rick described it, uh, your hit on that kickoff was his favorite play of the game. Uh, just sort of talk us through it. I mean, it's a pretty big one. It was exciting. They just had put me in on kickoff. I was like, all right, I got to go down here and make a play. And then it just happened. How much work have you actually gotten on the kickoff coverage team like, coming into the game? I get work. We get work every day. And we work it every day. Yeah. Uh, you you weren't was that your first kickoff coverage rep of that game and uh, who'd you come in for? Yeah, I came in for um, Amalo. Amalo. Yeah. Pruitt Pruitt can't say enough good things about you and obviously is a true sophomore here. What what's really been clicking for you from freshman year on to this year? I know you played a little bit your freshman year too, but what's finally just kind of clicked in for you there? Um, really, I've just been practicing hard each day like I'm a starter and trying to get better and. Uh, I guess he just gave me my chance, and I proved myself. Pretty, pretty deep set of linebackers you're working with, and uh, Floyd, uh, Jordan Jenkins, these guys. What, what are they teaching you? What are you learning from some of the upperclassmen there? Um, Marlo and uh, Ramik, I learned a lot from them because they got experience, so they teach me a lot of stuff. And, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, go ahead, finish, uh, please. Yeah, I, I was done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry to interrupt. I'm trying to get my question in real quick. <laughs> I'm just wondering, uh, being an Indiana guy down here, uh, how much? How much of what you're doing is it, are they getting news back home? They keep able to keep up with you pretty good up there. Yeah, they watch every game and make sure they keep up with me, keep in touch. Yeah, so, so it's, I guess uh, when you play on ESPN, it's not any problem. What about when you play in, in other games? Um, they try to watch me, but if it's not on TV, they, I guess they don't. They don't get to. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. was the draw for you being from Indiana? Was it the SEC you wanted to play in? Was it the competition in the South or what? Yeah, it was the SEC. I just wanted to prove myself and let people know I could go far and still do what I do. Did you grow up watching SEC teams or was Georgia high um, on your, your fan list as a kid? When I was a kid, I didn't really watch Georgia, but um, the first visit I took, I just loved everything about it. And I guess everything turned out good. Yeah. That hit in the fourth quarter, you went in for Marlo. Uh, how, just describe what happened, uh, what you saw, and how you were able to get the hit on him and then the reaction to it. I mean, I, it, it looked like you might have gotten beat to death when you came to the sideline from everybody <laughs> smacking on you, right? Oh, uh, yeah. When I was running down the field, I seen a blocker, and I just had a move. I was in front of a blocker, and I crossed him. And the, the runner, the runner, the turner didn't see me. So when I crossed him, I just threw my shoulder down. Because I seen the returner already throwing his shoulder down earlier in the game. So when I seen him, I just threw my shoulder down, and then the big hit happened. Have you, uh, have you officially knocked Amarlo off the first team kickoff coverage yet, or do you know <laughs> oh, about nah. that? They still have him on there, because I guess they want to start linebackers on <laughs> Yeah, OK. About how much more prepared, though, you and, and Reggie are both. How much more comfortable y'all feel now when y'all do get these opportunities to play? Um, we feel real comfortable. We're just glad we got our chance to um, gain a little bit of experience. But we already practice and stuff like we um, starters, so we ready to go in at any time.